In this lesson, you'll be using unit rate in a real life situation. You'll be looking at pain relievers and determining which one is the best buy. These are the pain relievers that you'll be looking at. So, pain reliever, which one is the best buy? Um, I have embedded a TED Ed video because they're interesting about how pain relievers work. Then you'll be given a scenario where you are at Target and you are faced, because this is really happens, you are faced with four different sizes of um, acetaminophen. So that's actually like Tylenol, excuse me. So Tylenol sizes. And you want to determine which one is the best buy because that's what shoppers always do. And in this case, best buy means literally which one of these has the lowest cost per tablet. You can see the sizes. This is a 50 tablet size. This is a 100 tablet size. This is a 250 tablet size. And if you've not been out shopping with anyone yet before, or it's been so long since you've been out, just a reminder that the price is right down here for the whole, for the uh, container. Okay. This is a 500 tablet size and its price is $6.99. So you'll be using um, your unit rate finding unit rate method, and you will be determining the cost per tablet for each one of these sizes, and then highlighting which one is the best buy. After you've done that, and you should be working collaboratively, even if you're doing the math alone, you are chatting with one of the Team A people. By the way, you also may use a calculator for this. We'll talk about calculator use in real life. Then finally, you will go to the final slide and you will explain how you determined the better or best buy and include how you know that this was the best buy. Be sure you include the math vocab vocabulary unit rate. And what I've done in the body of this is in black, I have kind of given you a paragraph sentence starter. The red explains what you will be inserting there. You will probably have to do some sort of shading out over that, or you can be, I just because I just realized I put it in Nearpod, you also can just start a new paragraph underneath. Oh boy, technical difficulties. Um, so in this lesson, you will be doing some real life math in which you determine um, which, is the, which size is the best buy using unit rate in a real life situation.